Now to that major Supreme Court ruling on President Trump's travel ban, allowing it to partially go into effect for six predominantly Muslim countries. When the ban was originally announced in January, you know it triggered chaos and protests at airports nationwide. ABC's Terry Moran is at the Supreme Court with a closer look at this ruling. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Robin. President Trump's travel ban, one of his signature policies, one of the most controversial and very troubled in the courts. He's declaring victory now because of this ruling. The Supreme Court will hear arguments on this travel ban next fall. And in the meantime, they're allowing a watered down version of this ban to go into effect. A partial victory for President Trump. How do you feel about the Supreme Court today, Mr. President? Very good. Thank you. The Supreme Court ruling that some of the president's controversial travel ban will go into effect and some will not. This strikes me as a compromise solution that hands both sides something of what they wanted, uh, but doesn't give anybody a clean victory. The president's executive order blocked travel to the U.S. from six predominantly Muslim countries for 90 days. And while the court's ruling allows that ban to go into effect, the justices narrowed it, declaring that the government cannot ban people if they have a bona fide relationship with a person or entity in the United States. The court saying that includes family members of U.S. residents, students admitted to American universities, workers accepting a job offer in the U.S., and more. The president was honored by the 9-0 decision that allows him to use an important tool to protect our nation's homeland. The administration's initial travel ban issued in January created chaos at the nation's airports. Then courts stepped in to block the ban, but for now, some of the president's order will go into effect. Administration officials are already working hard on figuring out who is and who is not covered under this court's ruling. It should go into effect 72 hours from when the court handed it down. Robin? And Terry, who is likely to be most impacted by the ruling? Well, that, that is the question. In the end, uh, lawyers who are working these cases tell us a relatively small number of people are going to get banned. That's because most people trying to get into the U.S. from these countries already have the kinds of relationships, family relationships, admissions to universities uh, that the court says exempt them from the ban. In the end, it'll probably be tourists from these six countries. There aren't many of those. And the poorest and most desperate of refugees with no U.S. connections who will get banned. Robin? Terry, thank you.